Okay, this is Jay and Caleb here with Backwood Survivalist, and today we're going to show you homemade, easy ways to start a fire. Okay, first is, we made this candle, we put a stick for the wick, we put a stick of lighting on it, very small, and then we just got candle wax from other candles and poured it in a mold that we made in the dirt, and we just poured it and poured it and poured it and poured it and poured it. And it just layered up to this. So now you have a candle that you can use. It burns for a long time. You can use it to um, start your fire. You can use it for light. You can use it for warmth if you had to. And things like that. And believe it or not, all the waxes mixed together smells better than just one of them. Okay, another way is... Um, pulled apart cotton balls and this is really fluffy tinder that you could use just I bet you one match would start it and then like we showed you in the other video this battery with a wire you just hook it together and then it heats up and then you can use it to start a fire and one more thing but I have to get it real quick and while he's getting that, I'm going to be showing you my two techniques that I uh, use. I was watching a video on YouTube, and I tried it, and it works very well. Uh, so I, I can't remember his name off the top of my head, but uh, he did feather sticks. Some of you may have heard it, some of you not. You take, and instead of shaving it off, shave it and then stop and then get up under that one and shave it and stop shave it and stop and it will curl and it looks like little feathers and you do that all around the stick and it looks like a little tree and you do that with three or four of them and you set them in a teepee and put your tinder all up under it and you light it and that tinder is going to light and it's going to light the feather sticks and then my most favorite way even when i'm not surviving favorite way light or not some of you may think of it as fat wood and uh, things like that. There was another name I can't really think of, but I love the stuff. And you could tell whether it's going to work or, not, or I can because I can smell it and tell whether it's going to work or not. If it's got a strong smell to it, it's most likely going to work. If you can barely smell it, probably not. And those are my two ways, and Gail's going to show you his last. All right, last way, Germix. Like we showed you in another video.